Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're checking out how to create this bubble text effect in Adobe Illustrator 2022. All right, so I'm going to recreate this typo that I basically created. You know, I customized. You can create from any kind of font you want. And the main idea is to select the direct selection tool here. And for example, select two anchor points like so and you get these little circles and make them curvy in my example i'm going to select uh, some of the corners some of the edges so i'm going to select it like this press and hold shift and select basically the rest of these edges that i want to make them curvy and the same kind of curvature and i'm going to select one of the circles and pull them in and as you can see it's pulling in all of the corners and do the same with every each of the corners edges okay so another thing to take in consideration is like adjusting the letters i'm going to leave a little bit of space in between so i won't overlap each of the letters and i'm gonna leave a little bit of space uh, I'm going to select a rectangle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a square, and you got the little circles. I'm not going to make this rounded. Now I'm going to select all of it, go to the pathfinder and go click on divide. If you don't have the pathfinder, go to the windows and select the pathfinder. Right click on group. I'm going to select the letters and I'm going to recolor them. I'm going to select the blue and for the background I'm going to go with an orange or with a pink. I'm going to select all. I'm going to go to the 3D and materials. So if you don't have the 3D and materials you can go to windows and select 3D and materials. Of course this settings is only available in Adobe Illustrator 2022 so make sure to update it. Now I'm going to go to the objects and select inflate and we're going to need to activate the real time preview, but uh, we're going to need to make it like separately. So I'm going to select all of the elements separately and now I can activate them. And from here, we're going to go to the materials and I'm going to select the same way. So if I select all of it here, you can see the option is going to disappear. If I select one by one, you can see we got the options going on. So I'm going to need the metallic. I'm going to increase the metallic and it's going to look like really cool. I'm going to leave it on 065. You also got the roughness. I won't touch that. I'm going to press control C on 065 and I just going to copy paste in the rest of the letters. So as you can see on the letters, it has a different effect. It's kind of harsh. So I also going to change the hardness. So here you can see it's getting smoother. I also going to adjust the metallic and I going to make the metallic 075, the roughness 055 at this size. Okay. So I'm going to copy paste every value one by one. Okay, from here I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to the lights and here we can change the rotation. Um, I like the rotation how this looks so far. I'm going to go and try out with the letters eventually. And yeah, you can experiment with these however you want and however you like. You can try it out with different colors, different effects and see what you get. So yeah, so far this is it. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.